Hi guys, and welcome to part 49 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. In a previous video, I covered a mod that allowed you to summon a spectral horse. And this was before Dawnguard, where such a horse was already added. And I also covered another mod in a later video that allowed you to summon a horde of spectral horses. So when I started receiving messages asking me to review another such mod, I was a little skeptical. However, turns out I was wrong. Blaze of Eventide is definitely worth checking out. The details are amazing. You've got a sort of a skin that looks like molten lava that's just cooling on the outside. You've got the fiery mane, you've got fire shooting out of the eyes and around the hooves and that type of thing. Um, it really does look very impressive. The horse once summoned actually stays. It's, it acts more like a normal horse, but the conjuration animation is really good. So you kind of end up wanting to summon it <laughs> fairly often. It looks very dramatic when done at night. Um, it's a power and not a spell, so you use the same key as you use for shout. But probably the most unique thing about this mod um, are the fiery footprints. As you ride through the land, you leave fiery hoofprints behind you, and they even crackle as if they're burning, burning grass, etc. And it's a really nice touch. Um, people don't really seem to notice it, but that's true of a lot of these type of mods. And you can even deploy Blaze as a weapon. Um, when you activate this power, you get it about once every five minutes. The horse will appear close to whoever your target is and when he gets near he will explode doing fire damage which is a very cool idea. Now obviously this is not for every type of character. Um, it's definitely more geared towards your evil character or your night stalking type characters. Uh, characters that like dark intimidating looks. Um, it's perfect for your evil warlock, perhaps your mystical assassin, that type of character. Um, it's, it's really visually impressive, um, it's very unique, and those little details like the fiery footprints will keep you entertained for quite some time. Definitely one to try out. Now, I have been meaning to do a pure archer playthrough for quite some time now, and the next mod definitely is of interest to me. That mod is the Nordic Ranger Outfit mod. Now this armor is perfect for a sort of archer character. Um, it, it definitely suits the hunter, the noble hunter kind of persona. It's not very barbaric armor, so it looks like the sort of thing a noble would wear if he was trying to go out hunting, etc. Think Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. You've got sort of expensive looking clothes with a hint of chainmail, uh, some leather in places, and it looks functional, but it does look high quality. It looks, again, like I say, the sort of noble hunter type attire. It has a lot of little interesting details, like um, a bag over the shoulder, some trinkets hanging from the belt, um, a knife stuffed down the belt, that type of thing that, that make it a little bit interesting to look at without being overkill, without being in your face. And it's got an interesting colour scheme. It's a mixture of black, brown and uh, red, a sort of deep red. Um, it reminds me very much of Riften for some reason, the forests around Riften. It, it looks a sort of armour that would blend in in a forest during autumn. But it would also be suitable armour for an assassin type character. There is a version of the hood with a mask, so you get this sort of, um, you know, the, the slightly more sinister look that would suit an assassin. But again, um, it doesn't scream, hey look, I'm in black, I'm part of the Dark Brotherhood. You could walk into town and just look like another noble walking by, a noble merchant, until people noticed little hints of chainmail and that sort of thing. But all round, a very interesting mix. You can see the influences of several of the pieces of armour, and put together, I think the outfit just works. Really did like this. Now the next set of armour I'm going to show you will definitely get you noticed if you walk into town. And that armour is the Ritual Armour of Boethia. Now this armour 
just reeks of evil intent. It is sinister, it is terrifying, and yet it looks amazing. I mean, the detail is absolutely incredible. The armor itself is a strange mix of what seem to be uh, dragon bone inspired pieces, but also uh, Daedric armor inspired pieces. You can't quite put your finger on it. It's very unique, and it definitely has a very reptilian feel to it. It's light armor, and it does look like you could be stealthy in it, because it is pretty dark, even though it's quite extravagant. But at the same time, it has a hint of mystery to it, a sort of magical mystery to it, that suggests a, a more magic-oriented assassin. This, to me, is no ordinary killer. This is, there is something deeply demonic about anybody who wears this armor. And although it looks great with some standard cloaks, it comes with its own half cloak. This is a sort of cloak that only covers one half of your back, and it's quite hard to see at first. I mean, I find it absolutely fascinating to look at all the different pieces on this armor. I think this armor is so good that I'm actually thinking of using it on my evil character who uses heavy armor. I'm actually willing to go and start learning light armor as a skill just to be able to wear this armor. It's amazing. Now, to get this armor, you craft it, and you only get the recipe once you finish the Boethia quest. So, you're not going to get it early, and you, you have to do a reasonable quest to get it, which I think is superb. It's an absolutely great idea. And there's not much else to say about this armor. I mean, I know you guys get fed up of hearing me use the words brilliant and superb, but this armor, <laughs> those words are appropriate. Really amazing job. Phenomenal models, great textures, just very, very interesting. Stats are pretty good as well. Absolutely. Maybe my favourite armour mod yet. Nothing else to say, really. If you're doing an evil playthrough, check this armour out. Now, installing these mods, very, very easy indeed. Each one of them, one file. Blaze of Eventide, just download with Manager and activate. Nordic Ranger outfit. There are some old versions, but just you only need the main file. Nordic Ranger outfit, download with manager and activate. And the Ritual Army Armor of Boethia. One file, again, download with manager and activate. Very simple mods. Um, load order does not seem to matter in the slightest. Um, so, dead simple. Okay guys, and that is it for this video. As usual, I am going to end with some of the screenshots you guys have been posting on my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Nexus page. Feel free to post them if you've got some you want me to include. I will try to get as many as possible in these videos. Um, I do appreciate them. They're absolutely superb. Feel free to join me for the next video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And until then, as always, have fun.